Gustaville, are you ready? <laughs> I'm not. Well, I am, kind of. I did have a list of things I wanted to do on the Mondeo. And uh, some of them have been done, some excellent ones have been done, others, eh, not so much. Anyway, you join me here in the Cortina, because I haven't been in the Cortina for quite a while, so I thought I'd sit and make this exceptionally quick video. Now, as I look at the clock here now, it's roughly half past five on Friday afternoon, which means for me, it's less than 12 hours till I leave to head down to Rustaville tomorrow morning. I know the list of things that needed doing on the Mondeo, the tailgate struts, they were knackered, uh, wouldn't hold the tailgate up. As you'll have seen if you watched the previous video with regards to Russell, got the tailgate struts, got them replaced, that's working. I need a pair of tailgate uh, parcel shelf strings to hold the parcel shelf up when the tailgate's open. Haven't managed to find those. Somebody did get in touch with us, offered me a pair for 50 quid. 50 quid for a pair of strings? I don't think so. I can live without them at that price. So I don't have any tailgate strings or any parcel shelf strings rather, so the tailgate's just going to have to stay down when I want the tailgate, I have to lift it manually and hold it up when I'm getting stuff in and out of the boot of the car, but yeah, it's one of those things that will just have to be done left for now until it comes out. Now, there is a bit of a problem with the indicators at the front of the car, as in somebody in the past has put the wrong indicator bulb sockets in the indicator lenses. Uh, I did manage to source a pair of the correct sockets, but of course, when they've put them in, they've hardwired them in the wiring loom instead of just using the plugs that were there originally. So now, I need a couple of plugs or I'm going to have to hardwire the loom in directly in the back of the sockets myself, which is doable, but not in the time that I had to do before Rustaville, because obviously I've been hunting around trying to get the correct plugs so I could just put them straight in and get it all done that way. <sighs> what a pain and what a pain in the neck it really is trying to get everything organised, trying to get everything sorted. I do need an alternator. The alternator's working. It's charging the battery. Uh, it's a little bit noisy, so I need an alternator. Found a couple of alternators. Nobody could get one to me, um, so I could get that fitted. I was, like, spent some time putting that on before I was getting ready to leave for Russell. So I'm coming down with a very poorly alternator. Hopefully, we'll make it there and we'll make it back on the alternator that's in the car. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that one works out. And also, I have a... Um, what has been described to me as a collapsed cat. So one of my Catholic converters has given up the ghost and it's spat out a load of shrapnel into my exhaust somewhere, which is rattling. Hasn't blocked the exhaust, thankfully, so the car still runs and drives, but it is rattling a little bit in the exhaust. It sounds a bit tinny, but never mind. Just going to have to uh, let that go the way the, the way it is and, uh, and live with it. Everything else on the car is absolutely fine though. Uh, I've got my stickers on, so hopefully they'll stay on in the uh, the winds that we're having up here at the moment. Because over here in the northeast, as Jeff buys cars would say, we're back in grey skies. Uh, it's icy cold and it's really windy. Hopefully that's not coming in through the doors in this gorgeous Cortina, and you can't hear the wind, which is uh, which would ruin the audio somewhat. Anyway, uh, so this is where we are at the moment. The other big thing on the Mondo that I did get time to do was change the wheels. So it's got much better wheels on it now. Uh, actually, different sizes. There were those horrible 17-inch things. I'll put a picture here of what they looked like. They're absolutely awful on the car. Made the car look awful. Uh, I have changed them. Changed for something better. I'm not going to reveal them on this video, though. If you want to see what wheels I've put on the car, you'll either have to wait and catch the car at Rustaville tomorrow, or you'll have to uh, subscribe to the channel and see the next video. And obviously, the next video that comes out may well be uh, one well, of the next long video that comes out will be one of the ones from Russellville, so either get to Russellville, see my new wheels there, or subscribe to the channel to catch the next video that will may well have uh, the reveal of the wheels in there. So what would that, would that be a wheel reveal or a reveal wheel? I think we'll go with a wheel reveal. The next one might well be the wheel reveal. In the meantime, though, we're starting to lose the light a little bit here. It's uh, it's hanging on for dear life, uh, heading quickly towards six o'clock. Uh, I've still got to get everything else sorted out, get the stuff ready to go in the car, charge all the batteries for the camera, charge the phone up, etc. ready for tomorrow, make sure I've got everything that I need tomorrow. I am bringing down some Haynes manuals. If anybody wants Haynes, Haynes manuals, they're taking up far too much space here at home. So they're going to be free for everybody. Um, there's two carrier bags full of them. If you want one, help yourself, take it, make use of it, do what you want with them. I just haven't got the space to keep them anymore. So I would be really appreciative if they were gone. There's some cracking old ones in there that may well come in very handy for some people. Now, I also do know that a lot of you that are coming to Russell tomorrow are already there. Uh, some people just went down yesterday and staying over a couple of nights and then travelling home after the event. Some people are travelling down today, staying overnight 
and uh, and coming back tomorrow after the event. Some people are staying over again another night and coming back uh, making a weekend of it. Uh, sadly, I didn't have the ability of uh, of doing that as much as I would have, it would have been ideal or would have liked to. I know there's an event happening at Gilks Coffee tonight. Um, they're putting a, an event on inviting people around just the day before Russell for a get together somewhere to go if you're already down there. If you're down there and you're going to Gilks Coffee or you're at Gilks Coffee or you've been to Gilks Coffee, hope you had a great time. We'll see you tomorrow. The people that are down there now and are probably heading out to the pub or maybe sitting in the pub watching this or watch this when they get back from the pub because they've been down there for a couple of nights beforehand and make the most of the of the time away. Uh, I hope you had a good couple of pints. You haven't got too much of a hangover for tomorrow morning when you drive your car on, onto the site and get everything parked up. Oh, and there's some convoys going down. There's a lot of people I've seen on the Facebook page for Rustaval, which is the Rustaval, I think it's the Friendship Corner, the Friendship Chat Corner uh, page on Facebook. Now, I see a lot of people in there advertising that they're doing convoys down, so there's a bunch of people travelling down together. If you see me tomorrow at any point, in the Mondeo, uh, it's a 1995, uh, I think it's Moonstone Blue, or is it, is it Moonstone? I think it's Moonstone Blue, uh, Mark 1 Mondeo. If you see that on the road tomorrow, give it a honk, give it a wave, flash your headlights, uh, let me know you're there, and we'll, uh, we'll maybe just meet up on the way down. I'm planning at the moment on leaving here at 5am tomorrow morning, so that's 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, Saturday the 9th of March, obviously. Uh, I'm going to stop off. I'm thinking of stopping off at Weatherby Services for obviously a, a comfort break and maybe a coffee, possibly even some breakfast. We'll see how that goes. But leaving here at 5 a.m., if I get a leave here on time, then I should be, with the amount of traffic that'll be on the road at that time on a Saturday morning, I should be at Weatherby Services for about quarter to seven, seven o'clock ish. So if you if you're at Weatherby Services or you're planning on being at Weatherby Services, look out for the car. Have a drive around the the car park. I can't say it being that busy at roughly quarter to seven in the morning. Although I'm probably wrong, it'll probably be packed solid with uh, stealth campers that've been in the transit vans overnight, and wagon drivers and coach drivers, etc. Uh, but I'm planning on being there for around about quarter to seven in the morning. So watch out for the car. Uh, if you're in that area and you want to jump on, uh, jump in and uh, into the convoy. Follow it down in the Russell area. Um, it's the first time I've been to the British Museum, never been before, got no idea where I'm going, obviously got directions, got a proper sat nav, got GPS, uh, so hopefully everything will run smoothly and there'll not be any car accidents, car breakdowns, car fires, oh god, let's hope there's no car fires, um, any traffic jams, any, any road blockages, etc, and we'll have a nice easy drive all the way down there to make the most of the day. Right, I'm going to go in, get ready, get everything ready so I can just throw it straight in the car tomorrow morning, jump in and drive off. We'll see you at Russellville tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock onwards is when I'm going to get there. So I'll see you there.